Do you have any idea what Mumu's doing? I have no idea, but she looks pretty confident, so she must know what she's doing. I think she wants us to play in the garden today. You know that Mumu always has some very strange ideas. Could be that she's painting the classroom a new color and took out all the chairs so that they wouldn't get stained. I don't think Mumu is planning on painting anything. You know how much she likes to play, <laughs> so I think she wants us to play something. But I don't know of any game that's played with chairs. I know how to play one that's really fun. You put a bunch of chairs in a circle and Everyone keeps going around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone sits down, and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. Wow, that sounds like fun. We can play the chair game today. Let's go talk to Mumu to see if she lets us play with her. Hi, Mumu. Why have you brought out all these chairs? Mm, I just felt like sitting in the garden. Is that it? You didn't bring them out to play with? Milo, chairs are only used for sitting down. You can't play with them unless you imagine that they're a car or, or a plane or... Well, we know of a really fun game to play with chairs. That's nice. So why are you telling me? Mumu. You've got five chairs in the garden, and we want to play the chair game with them. But I don't want to play anything. I just want to sit and enjoy the scenery. Whatever you like. You could at least let us sit here with you. All right, then. I wonder what Moo Moo is doing with so many chairs next to each other. I'm sure she wants to play something. Well, I want to play with them too. We can bring our own chairs to play with. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, I don't know where the other chairs are. I think Moo Moo must have taken them all. I saw one just underneath the slide. Well, let's get it and go with them. <laughs> Hello, friends. What are you playing? We're not playing anything. We're just sitting here catching a bit of sun. Well, how boring. I thought you'd be playing some game with the chairs. Rita, you cannot play with chairs. They're only used for sitting. You can't play with them. That's not exactly true, Moo Moo. I know a very fun game that you can play using chairs. Please teach us how the game is played. There are six of us, right? Well, you put five chairs in a circle and everyone goes around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone has to sit down and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. That sounds like fun. Why don't we play that game? All right, then. But it seems like a silly game and very boring. You'll see, Moo Moo. Once you start playing, you'll want to play again. Are we all in position? All right. Now remember, when the music plays, we all go round and round. But when it stops, we all have to sit down. The one who's left out will get eliminated. OK, start the music. <laughs> Oh, what bad luck. I was left without a chair. I'm so slow. I kept on dancing with no music. Now 
now there's only two left. Who's gonna win? Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, caterpillar. Good morning, little caterpillar. Maybe the caterpillar doesn't understand me. But I don't speak caterpillar language. Maybe if I talk more slowly, he may be able to understand me. Hmm. Dear Mr. Caterpillar, I'm not sure if you understand me or not, but I'd like to wish you a good morning since it's such a beautiful day and I'm so happy. And when I'm really happy, I like to wish my friends a good morning. Today is not a very good day. Why isn't it such a good day? I thought if I was having a good day, everyone else would be too. All my life I wanted to see the world and visit many places. But I'm just a simple caterpillar, and I won't have the chance to see a single thing. No oceans, no forests, no volcanoes. <gasps> I've got the solution to your problem. You just have to move a little faster. And I don't mean a little faster, but a lot faster. Look at the way I move. If I go slow like you, I go very slow. But if I go very fast, I'm here now. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. And now I'm here. Milo, I think we better go see what's wrong with Moo Moo. I wonder what's gotten into her. What's wrong, Moo Moo? There's nothing wrong with me. Our friend, Mr. Caterpillar, is sad because he wants to travel, but the poor thing is so slow. He never gets anywhere. So I was just telling him that if he moved fast, really fast, he'd get to more places. <sighs> But, Moo Moo, you don't realize that you move really quickly because you're a fast cow. But Mr. Caterpillar could never move as fast as you. He's very little and doesn't have fat feet like you do. Hey, my feet are not fat. Mr. Caterpillar, don't be sad. I promise that in a few days, you'll be able to go as fast and as far as you want. But how would that be possible? Have you ever heard of metamorphosis? No. Well, it's something magnificent that's about to happen to you. Soon you'll no longer be a simple caterpillar and will transform into the most beautiful and elegant butterfly of the valley. Mm, a butterfly? There comes a time when all caterpillars transform into precious butterflies and then they can fly wherever they want. So when will I transform into a butterfly? The first thing you need to do is to spin a cocoon and then go to sleep in it. When you wake up, you'll already be a butterfly. Hmm. Thank you, my friends. You've made me very happy. Moo Moo, don't be impatient. It may take days before Mr. Caterpillar becomes a butterfly. I'll stay. As you wish. See you Goodbye. later.
He's coming out! He's coming out! Everyone, look! He's coming out! Come on, Mr. Caterpillar. You can do it. Come on! He's no longer Mr. Caterpillar. Now he's Mr. Butterfly. Same difference. What's important is that he's been transformed into something beautiful. Yeah! Oh, he's, he's so, so pretty. pretty! I want to be a butterfly like him, so handsome and beautiful. And me too! You're so pretty! Fly, fly butterfly, butterfly, fly, fly away. away! Fly, butterfly, fly wherever you want to go. Now nothing can prevent you from going anywhere you want. You can fly as freely as the wind. Today is a beautiful day, but it looks as though we're about to get hit with a strong wind. I don't know how you do it, but you're always able to predict the weather. We need to pick everything up before it starts blowing really hard. I'm not afraid of the wind. It's only air. What harm could it do? Oh! It's already <laughs> starting to blow hard. I think it's better if we head home now. We'd better hurry, because it's only going to get worse. I'm going inside with the others. Come on, Mumu. Don't be so stubborn. Let's go home. I'm not afraid of anything, much less the wind. Come on, little breeze. Is that the best you can do? Go on. I want more wind. More, more, more! I see you feel like blowing today. But you're not going to beat me. I'm Moo, the super cow. I'm almost there. Just a little further. This wind has no chance against me. Oh! Oh! Ow! 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 What is this strange thing? Could they be pieces of wood? It looks like a beaver's home. No, no. It's a nest that fell from a tree and broke apart. And what might these be? They look like oval-shaped white rocks. Oval-shaped like an egg. No, no, they're not rocks, but bird eggs. Am I a bird? What am I doing here? Is this my nest? I can't believe it. My nest is all broken. This is my nest. My eggs, my family, no! Hey guys, now listen to me carefully. The wind has done something terrible. My nest fell to the ground and it broke apart. My babies, my little birdies, have been left without a home. It's a tragedy. Please, someone help me. But Mumu, you know that you're a cow and you don't have a nest, do you? My children, please help me. She must have hit her head a bit too hard. She is all confused. Come on, let's go see what happened. What a disaster! The nest broke apart and the eggs are all over the ground. We're lucky that none of them cracked. We need to pick them up and make a new nest for poor Mr. Bird. What do you mean, Mr. Bird? This is my nest and you need to help me. Moo, you took a blow to your head and you think you're a bird. But Moo, you're really a cow. Now we need to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird so that his eggs can hatch. Let's get to work, friends. We need to collect branches. Oh, look! What are you doing? Moo Moo, we're collecting branches to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird. So who's going to help me build my nest? But Moo Moo, you are a cow. What would you need a nest for? The wind has destroyed my nest and nobody's going to help me build it. I thought you were my friends. Moo Moo, the wind damaged Mr. Bird's nest, not yours. You don't have a nest. Well, since nobody's going to help me, no worries. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'm 
going to build the biggest and most beautiful nest that ever existed. See you later. Here's one. Look, look, yes, and another one. This one's mine. I've got a lot of them, but I need a few more. No, not a few more, I need a lot more. Now I think we have enough to make a nest. Put a branch right here. Yes, yes, that's good. Ah, uh, I hope this is the way it goes. It turned out to be a masterpiece. Mr. Bird will be very proud of his new nest. Now, we've got to put it where it belongs. Talalo, can you go put it up in the tree? Now I've got a beautiful nest, but it's missing something here. For a nest to be a nest, it needs eggs. I'm going to try to lay an egg. Mm, this is really difficult, but I need to find some eggs. Look, right there on the ground, I see two giant white rocks. Where could Moo Moo be? Well, I don't see her anywhere. Chirp. Huh? Chirp. Oh. <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Hey, Moo Moo, what are you doing way up there? Come down from there right now. When the wind starts blowing again, you'll be sent flying. Chirp, chirp, moo. Chirp, chirp, moo. The wind is starting up again. Come down from there, Moo Moo. You're going to get blown away. Chirp, chirp. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hey. 